Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're talking about the raw reality of psych wards. Now I've been in a lot of different psych wards, I've been in assessment units, I've been in treatment units, I've been in private hospital, I've been sectioned, I've been informal. I've experienced a lot over the years and I want to share some of that with you to raise awareness. My first admission was when I was 13 and it was to a private kids unit, CAMS ward. I was there for six weeks, I was put onto a section three after being on a section two and I can't really remember an awful lot from that admission it was I mean it literally when I was 13 I'm 26 now so 13 years 13 years ago was when my mental health journey started so I can't remember much from that admission but I do know I wasn't abused, I wasn't assaulted, I wasn't injected against my will. I was compliant with my medication and yeah I just got on with day to day life of being on a psych ward. Now it was during the summer so there was no school to go to, thank fuck. I just had the time to focus on my mental health. Which given no inpatient setting is perfect. But I was able to spend them six weeks focusing solely on my mental illness. There wasn't any like, distractions like school to go to or other things. I was admitted because I was psychotic and manic and I ha that was my first manic episode so I was sectioned and yeah let's move on to my first adult admission so we go to when I was how old was I? 18? from this admission And this was an admission to a ward that was basically a, for a, few, a day, a few days to see if you needed to be inpatient or whether you could go home and be treated in the community. Sort of an in-between place. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Yeah, the staff were nice. They lent me have the phone charger. They, bought, they let, lent me a phone charger. So I charged my phone. I was the only one in the unit after the other woman went home. So, I had the free reign, which is why I filmed that video. Um, nothing major really happened there. I spoke to them about going to the crisis team, and we needed a plan for me to go home. My first admission to an acute ward was an assessment ward called Eddisford Ward. And that was in Burnley, in Lancashire. I lived in Preston, but, you know, you know. That first admission was terrifying. Because I hadn't been in a ward since I was little. Little Liddy. Now that admission was a bit rough. It was the first my first adult admission so I was pretty anxious and I wasn't on medication they wanted to put me on sertraline but I'd already been on sertraline and I'd reacted really badly to it um, so I declined that which I had a right to because I was informal and in short my mom came to visit me, my grandparents came to visit me and it was an assessment ward and after a week they assessed that I, need, I should be at home receiving support 
and yeah I didn't leave my room much I only left my room to go to the toilet the next admission that I want to talk about is Springfield Mental Health Hospital what ward was I on? I think I was on ward 3 and honestly I was on one to one the entire time I was there until they put me in a taxi I was literally on one to one all the way to the taxi then I got in the taxi they walked off I and mean, I was left in a taxi going home feeling very suicidal but that's not the beginning of the admission that's the end of the admission so there is that little negligence because I went home and I tried to that admission I was on section 2 so I had no no rights, no choice my quetiapine dose got increased and god I don't miss quetiapine <laughs> I had this admission because I was suicidal and I was on one to one which no one wants to be on one to one but I was but I had Becca come and visit me, Rena come and visit me and that admission was genuinely a hard admission I got IM'd four times I was restrained every day and it got to a point where they, they wouldn't let me have a hot drink I didn't have a shower because I didn't want to strip in front of someone then basically I climbed up a window yes I thought I was a spider-man just kidding don't seem seriously when I say stuff like that um, I climbed a window to throw myself backwards off and break my neck as I landed on the bed I was creative but the woman who got my one time was like jump so I did and I landed on a mattress that had been moved and I got up and I threw a cup of water over her and she ran off yes I probably shouldn't have thrown a cup of water over her but who tells someone who's suicidal up high about ready to break their neck to jump that's fucked up the next admission I want to talk about is one when I got sent to St Charles Hospital in Chelsea and Westminster District and basically I was informal I was there for seven weeks and I was self-harming pretty badly and one of the staff members took me into a side room and said if you want help you need to get sectioned like I don't want to be sectioned what the fuck are you talking about if I want help then I'm here to accept it I'm informal help me and I just don't get it psych wards aren't glamorous they're not retreats they're not a grippy sort of vacation you go there so you can work on your mental health honestly I've been in some wards where they've assaulted me one example being Park Royal they literally threw my head back on the floor and I had bruises all up my collarbone round my neck on my arms and it was horrible if you want to see more of my videos on the abuse that goes on in psych wars I'll link the playlist on the iCard up there and yeah if you want to know more about my psychiatric admissions let me know in the comments down below and I will try and answer best I can thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video peace